What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Alex with Boss Crypto, and today I'm bringing you guys all a tutorial on how to bond to oracles on the Zap Marketplace. All right, so if you guys aren't familiar with Zap, they are an Oracle Marketplace, and they have this unique feature where you can bond your Zap to individual oracles and, re and receive a sort of subcurrency known as dots. And each individual dot allows you one instance of data from that oracle. So if you want to get data, say, you know, there's an oracle for coin data from Poloniex. If you want to use that coin data and say your Bitcoin futures contract, then you would need a dot every time you want to use that data, which is going to be every time the price updates, which is, you know, very often. So you're going to need a lot of dots, which means you're going to need a lot of zap to bond to those oracles. Okay, and I'm going to show you that process today of bonding to these oracles. All right, so you're going to need just three things. You're going to need some Ethereum, you're going to need Zap, and you're going to need MetaMask. All right, um, so you're going to send your Ethereum and your Zap to your MetaMask address, and then you're going to come to admin.zap.org. Okay, and this is going to be your main hub for bonding. Right, and I also think my Oracle wallet is going to be a hub as well, but I don't know if that's live or not. And also keep on the lookout for oraclemarketcap.com as well. That's going to be another place you're going to see all the oracles once they're live. I don't think the team has put Oracle Market Cap on mainnet yet because there's only a few oracles live right now. And they're really just meant to be kind of like beta oracles for enthusiasts, but they do work, you know, so they're going to be around when the platform is, you know, fully on mainnet. All right, so let's get right back into this. Again, you're going to need Ethereum, Zap, and MetaMask, and then come to admin.zap.org. Make sure you choose the main Ethereum network, right? We're not going to be on Cove and Test Network. Agree or read if you choose, read and agree to the terms and service, and then click the login button under MetaMask login. All right, and then you'll be logged in to the Oracle bonding service. All right, you'll have your wallet info, how much Zap you have, how much F you have, and this is just your MetaMask account, all right? And keep in mind, Zap has 18 decimal places afterwards. Now, I think eventually the team's gonna try and find a way to get the actual decimal place put in here so you don't have to count every single time 18 decimals but there's something wrong with um yeah the technical side of things there and they're just they're working on fixing that it, it's not like an easy fix like you think so they're they're working on it yeah there's 18 decimal places so i just copy and paste this in a new tab and then i count over 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and you can see i have just four zap in here because I've already bonded some to oracles. All right, and then you can send your eth and your zap out of here as well. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go to browse oracles and services and you can see we have all the different oracles available right now. I have some by Max Crypto, Max Finance, P2 Fintech, P2 Stocks, Market Signal, and Oracleize. Now, some of these don't have endpoints, meaning they're not yet live, so we can't really get any info on those. But on the ones that have endpoints, you can click on that, endpoints, and you'll see the name here, how many dots are issued, and then you'll see the bonding curve that's used for the dots, right? And then if you want even further information, like I want to know, well, what is the Poloniex API? Well, you can click on that, and then it's gonna give you all this information for what that is. It gives you the bonding curve here for the price increase of dots and zap. And then it tells you um, exactly what it does. It's Poloniex coin price feed. For example, a result might be the price of Bitcoin and USD as an integer in cents. And so this is gonna take the price of any coin on Poloniex, right? And then up here we can see, right, we see the bonding curve, which is gonna be. Again, there's 18 decimals, so this is probably 1x plus 7. So each dot is going to be increased by 
uh, one X plus seven. And then you can see how many dots you have bound or I have bound, how many dots there are in total for the entire Oracle, how many are currently issued, and how many zap are bound. And again, if we copy this, paste it in our new tab, count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, we can see we have 692,000 zap that is bonded to this Oracle, All right? And we see the provider's address, Max Crypto, and the endpoint, and there's also one for Bitstamp, but we're just gonna be focusing on the Poloniex one today. All right, so then to actually go bond to that, you'll go click bond, you'll choose the one you want, Max Crypto, Poloniex API, and then how many zap you want to bond for your dots. Right, and you can exchange these, you can bond and unbond at any time, but the goal, go back here, the goal is always to bond above or at where you originally bonded. So right now there's 11,090 dots issued. If I was to buy a thousand of them, by bonding a thousand or not a thousand by bonding however many zap it takes to get a thousand dots right then there would be twelve thousand dots issued and then if someone comes in after i bond that thousand and they unbond say five thousand so that would go from twelve thousand dots issued to only seven thousand dots issued and then i try and unbond my one thousand well i'm unbonding here, well, here, let's start at the beginning. I'm bonding at a rate of 118 to like 125 zap for my dots. And then if I try to unbond when there's only 7,000 bonded, I'm going to be selling my dots for 78 to 68 zap. So I will be getting back about half as much zap for my dots. So this is a speculation game just like trading. Right? This is not something you can just do and get all your zap back whenever you want. You can make a lot of money off of it, potentially, but you can also lose a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing. Right? So always know, only put in what you're willing to risk. Okay, Same as any other investment. Right? So going back, we're going to bond, choose our address, Poloniex API. Now, I don't think I even have enough in this test account to get one. But if you do, you know, you put in however many you want to get, it'll tell you how much zap it requires. All right? And for example, 142 dots, which I currently have, would cost um, I'm not sure exactly how many. I think this is 16,843 zap, I do believe. And so, and I bought these dots for about 12,000 zaps. So you can see someone's come in and bonded dots since I've bought. So now if I unbond, I get more zap than I originally bonded, right? But if, but if someone comes in and, and unbonds 5,000 dots now, you know, this might go down and I would only get like 10,000 or something, right? So you definitely gotta be careful with this. It's not something to do willy nilly. But you type in however many you want. You know, I'm assuming you guys are doing this responsibly. Right? I'm not going to type in any because I can't afford any with this account. I already have some. But then you click bond and you'll get a MetaMask confirmation. I'm not sure if you guys can see it with my screen capping program. But you'll confirm that and it's going to say approving up here for a bit. And at this point, you do not want to click on any of the other tabs here. You just want to leave this open. Don't touch it. You know, you can use other tabs if you want or whatever. But don't mess with it. All right? And then... After you know, a minute, five minutes, however long, another MetaMask confirmation is going to come up and you'll click confirm on that one as well. And then after some short time, approving should change to bonding. And then you'll know it's done when right next to bond over here, they're going to have an ether scan link with your transaction on it. Okay. So if that's not there, um, assume it has not worked yet. And it's not, you know, there's no harm and clicking out and going back to try it again if you want, but you don't want to be having a bunch of pending transactions on your MetaMask, right? So just be patient, 
wait for it to bond. If you're not getting MetaMask confirmations, maybe log back out and try again. But you should get two confirmations. This will switch to bonding, and then when it's done, you'll have an Ether scan link. Right? And then unbonding is the exact same thing. Come to unbond. Pick the one you want to unbond from. Right? You know, unbond. However many. Now, one thing they haven't done, when you bond, it tells you how many zap it costs to get how many dots. But when you unbond, it doesn't tell you how many zap you get for your dots. So I think that'd be a, like, a nice little feature for them to add soon. But, um, you know, that's just kind of like quality of life stuff. This is the beta of this platform, all right? You know, keep that in mind. This is the first thing, finished product they've built, right? So we're in the early beta days. These are mostly just enthusiasts doing this right now. But, you know, I'm already up a hefty percent on my original bonding to the Poloniex API. So it can definitely be very profitable. But, you know, just like people who buy the top and trading, the same thing can happen in this kind of platform, right? And you'll see a lot of these have different um, limits on how many dots can be produced. For example, the Bitstamp API is 6,000. So if I was to go and try to buy all those, to bond all my zap to that, it tells you how many it's going to require, and it would be just a ridiculous amount. You can't actually buy it all up. Okay, and that's how, that's how it really is going to fluctuate. As it goes up, people who bonded earlier are going to want to unbond for more zap. And then as people unbond, it'll get cheaper, and people are going to want to bond again. Unless there's a better alternative, right? You know, just like the ICO market, we have the IOO market now, and there's going to be white papers and videos and marketing, all this crazy shit. It's going to be something else, guys. So I would, I would strongly encourage you to you know, give bonding a try if you're interested in Zap, if you're already a Zap owner. Maybe just you know, use like 10 Zap or something small and give it a try. Get some dots. It's really cool, really cool stuff. And uh, keep up with their Telegram too because they're going to keep you up, updated with all their updates and all that. Right, and I think that's really about all I have to go over here for this bonding tutorial, guys. So I appreciate your time and effort. If you guys want to know more about our team, Boss Crypto, check us out in the links below. Peace.